This is the girls' emergency kits all put together. I don't waste space by putting their shoes on the inside because they're if they need the shoes, they're going to be on the outside. They're just going to put them on. Um, I have plastic bags on the outside, so if it's raining, they can put them on. And I have their whistles right there. So these are going to go in the trunk of our car so that they have their emergency kit backpacks. And I'll put mine in the back too. And these are some things I thought of that I wanted to add. So Kaya does not have one of these in the back in her backpack because it's a little bulky and she would probably be drinking out of mine anyway. So Paige does have one in hers. I'm going to put one in mine. Um, and actually I'm probably going to put two in mine because if you have purification tablets, it doesn't do you any good if you have to be moving and you don't have any way to hold the water once you purified it. And then I'm going to put some iodine tablets in for the, it's the, my camera will not focus. Um, it's for radiation sickness. I'm just going to put one of those in. You know, in that kind of situation, I don't know how much good it would do you, but you know, it might, and it's not real heavy. So I'm going to put that in too. And then I will put them in the back of the car and we will just leave them there for the next six months unless we need them in the meantime. And I always wear shoes with uh, good, good shoes and socks and everything. So I did not put shoes in my pack. And I do need to put another knife in my pack, but Paige does have a pocket knife in her pack. So um, that's all I wanted to talk about. And I later I wanted to talk about Northern Outfitters. My parents made um, coats and sleeping bags back in the 90s that can withstand negative 70 Fahrenheit. And it's like a self-enclosed tent, but it's really light. And we call it the great coat. That's a chore coat that um, it doesn't matter how cold it is, you stay warm in it. You could jump into a lake of ice water and come back out and it would keep you warm and you would not die. Called Northern Outfitters and they're made by Jim Phillips or they used to be made by Jim Phillips when I was a kid. Um, my parents knew him really well and so they made all this stuff. And those are all Northern Outfitter great coat type stuff too. So I'll try and do a video of that sometime and post it. So anyway, there we go.